Greetings and welcome to Rescue HQ, the tycoon. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, thank you very much to the developers for granting me a key to play this game for you. I recorded this as a stream on Twitch, um, but I have managed to break it up into smaller episodes for YouTube, so I hope you enjoy. Have fun. Hello, hello. All right, so the game has uh, <laughs> stopped broadcasting its music, um, but we're going to play today Rescue HQ. This is a game coming out uh, in a couple of weeks. I think it's coming out May 28th. Hello, hello, everyone. First of all, I want to thank you so very much to The Lone Goldfish. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. That is very much appreciated. And thank you very much to Labret. Thank you, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I'm so excited. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here and is... welcome to the sky, people. Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Shadella, for the subscription. Very, very much appreciated. Yay. Um, okay, so we're going to play uh, Rescue HQ. This game is coming out in a couple of weeks. Uh, it is so, so brand new. I played it a little bit last night, and it's kind of fun. Uh, so I kind of want to do a stream to kind of learn more about the game and play and see if it's a lot of fun or not, or we'll we'll figure it out. So um, anyway, we're going to get some music here. <laughs> Um, but if you are interested on watching on YouTube, I am going to convert this to an episodic format. It is going to be the stream, but I'll kind of break it up into nice little um, episode chunks for that. So anyway, thank you so very much for, for coming and hanging out with me. Let's start a brand new game. Now this game is, um, we're going to build different rescue services like fire, fire, uh, firemen, uh, police, uh, and also a hospital, I think. Anyway, um, so we're going to start off. I think we should go in Berlin. I tried Berlin last night and it seemed pretty, pretty good. So anyway, we have a duration of five weeks where the challenge is to avoid bankruptcy for the duration of the scenario. And I haven't quite finished, figured out how that works. It's kind of an odd thing. But anyway, complete objectives for extra cash and reputation. And um, let's see. Yeah, we get city grants five, initial funding 100,000. So let's start this. And if the music doesn't come back on, I'll restart the game. Uh, it is not like Two Point Hospital, I don't think. I haven't gotten to the hospital bit yet, but hopefully. Okay, there is the music. It is coming in. Anyway, so what we're going to do here is we need it. It gives us all of these boxes, which is kind of useful if you're learning how to play on your own. And I have uh, come up with uh, a way to do some stuff here. But anyway, up here we have the event timeline. The yellow and blue are the day and night shifts um, that we need to get through. And so right now we start on a day shift, which is uh, yellow and then night is blue, obviously. Um, we have resources up here to get more details. You click on stuff. You need reputation to buy different kinds of things and upgrade and get new products. Not not products, but new um, like furniture items and things like that. So um, then we can spend it. Yeah, spend it in the build menu to get the new different items though. And <laughs> we max it out once uh, to raise the cap at the end of a week. Okay, right. <clears throat> Here's our mayor. He's very Greetings interesting. Greetings and welcome to the sky, people. Oh, thank you so very much, Yams. Thank you for very much for the subscription. I'm going to get that subscription thing fixed so it kind of shows up at the middle of the thing. I was um, fooling around with that earlier and it I I forgot that it was on the um, the old thing. It's, it's tuned to 1080p, but my monitor is 1440p and the thing converts it to 1080. Anyway, I'll fix it for next time. But thank you very much, Yums. Um, so, <laughs> OK, yes, his neck is as wide as his head. You never know. His neck could be super skinny and he's just overcompensating with fashion. That could be. <laughs> so anyway, welcome, dear friend. I will personally guide you in building this HQ. Tell me your name. Wait, what? Oh, you can't. Well, tough luck. I dub the cadet. Thanks, guy. Greetings um. and welcome to the sky, people. Oh, thank you, Bing Sayers. Thank you so very much for the subscription. That is very, very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so you will set up firefighting, police, and medical departments. You better follow my word, cadet. Okay, next. First off, let's build a fire department because 
I don't like fire. I mean, it's bright, and if you get close, it's warm and causes, I mean, terrific pain. <clears throat> yes, him and his tentacles, right? All right, next. <laughs> Anyways, you got some money. Put it to use. Build a fire engine, prepare equipment, and get a hiring desk. You do that, and I'll make sure you have enough, have some fire emergencies soon enough. Now, this, this sounds a little bit uh psychopathic just slightly it's like he's gonna go run around the town and uh uh set some fires on purpose <laughs> oh my god hey mood how are you doing <laughs> oh my god uh this is slightly scary this guy is a bit <clears throat> interesting anyway so okay so we are paused are we paused yeah we're paused okay pause thingy up here what i have to say about this game it does actually have an interesting ui and i was kind of skeptical because uh, the graphics look a bit basic the people are decidedly expressionless here they don't they don't like have feelings that they're gonna tell us about or at least they don't tell us what their faces however i do really like the low poly art style it's very very cool uh, i think it's kind of fun so anyway let's see a pyro cannibal oh my god um anyway what we need to do is we have different rooms here and it's going to teach us through the tutorial what to build uh, so the first thing we need, oh, there was one more thing, imagingy, the menus, we have the build menu here, crew applicants, roster, and inventory. So those are there. Um, and this is the tutorial, how do we get to the next stage of stuff? Uh, so we have at the moment, this is a garage room, um, and you can tell each room by its different uh, decor inside. And uh, this one will house our trucks and things that we need to uh, okay, and then it shows you how to build stuff. I found that these videos were a little bit, I don't know, slow or something, but I guess they did help. I was, I guess I was kind of impatient and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get them back when I was doing the tutorial here. So anyway, but yeah, you can uh, build rooms, stations, put stuff down. That's how that works. And we're going to just follow what they're going to tell us how to do. Now, I found it a little bit odd to say build a garage when the garage is already here. I was like, do I need to build another one? But what it means is you need at least the marked item in the room, which is the fire truck here. So, um, uh, so it's kind of like, um, oh gosh, what other, like it, in, in two point hospital, you have that sort of thing where a room doesn't function unless it has the specific items it needs. So we're going to go ahead and get one of these. You can rotate with Q and E, and then you can place these things. I found that you don't need to leave space because it has those hazard markers on the side of the vehicles. So you can place them as close as you want together. Okay, so there's the fire truck. Uh, and it doesn't immediately tell us uh, about... Okay, tank roof. It doesn't say the fire truck. But the fire truck is basically... Fire, fire struck. Fire struck. Not yet. Fire has not struck yet. <laughs> We're building the garage. The fire truck is part of the garage. That one will fill up in a second. But it takes time. You see this progress bar goes very slowly. It's like kind of like they're building the truck here. So that's what's going on with that. Now then, we need to build a fire department hiring station. Now what I'm going to do is I want to make this office slightly bigger. So we're going to increase the size. What's nice is it just automatically increases when you click the thing. All right, we need a hiring station here. <clears throat> Does a fire truck come in 10 boxes? Does it qualify up for Amazon Prime? <laughs> you know it might. You know it might. Well then. <laughs> like this idea anyway these are this station here is where we're going to like call for applicants hello do you want to join our fire department that kind of thing um so we're going to put this one of them here i don't i haven't found that i needed more than one so that seems okay oh thank you so very much for the follow um all right so um yeah this this hiring Greetings station comes in four and boxes welcome to the sky people oh thank you vistic pure i very much appreciate it thank you very much for the subscription um, okay, so we have uh, this thing. We have, uh, this is the hiring station. You need one of those. You might need more, but eh, you never can tell. But anyway, um, let's see. Hey, Moodiful, how are you doing? I said hi already. Are you hiing again? Hello. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for the follows as well. Um, okay, so back to this. We built our hiring station. We need to build. So now this room is the utility room. 
And that is this one. And from what I've gathered, it, you there are two things in this room. We have lockers, which will have lockers for every type of um, employee. Like there's going to be fire department lockers, firefighter lockers, police lockers, and medical personnel. And that controls how many people you can have uh, hired at your station. Um, and then we have other equipment. And this seems very strange to me that this stuff would be with the lockers, but it's okay. They're combining it into one thing. It's fine. So we're going to expand this room. And it does cost us money. It costs us this funny T money. I have no idea what T means. Oh, no. I don't want to do this. Uh, oh, yes. This is a good opportunity for a learning moment. <laughs> we can press this C or clear area button here. You can also use a hotkey C. And it gives you some money back uh, and allows you to change stuff. Anyway... Um, so what I want to do is I want to move some of these things. We're going to move some of these lockers out down here. Actually, these can probably stay. No, no, I want them to move. I want to move. Oh, no, I can't move them yet until I build a wall. Now, there's an extra wall building thing. That's these two buttons. There's a minus wall and a an add wall over here. Um, and then... Can you undo? Oh yeah, that's I don't know if you can undo specifically, but I know you can remove stuff. I don't I don't know if there's an undo button. There's no hotkey list in the game yet, so anyway. At least the rooms don't come in boxes up. <laughs> anyway, let's move these lockers down a little bit. Um there we go. Because I want to put in some of the equipment up here. Okay, let's just shove these down here. It doesn't cost us anything to move stuff, which is quite nice. Uh, so we're going to just remove those two walls there because we need to store some stuff here. We have uh, air tank storage, which I think we just need one of these. So let's rotate this. And notice there's like, I don't know if you can see, there's little footprints in front of each thingy-majingy. That's the access where people can stand to utilize an object. Okay, and then we have our air tank refill station. Now this I have learned is, you know those fire thing equipment thingy majingies that you know sp sploosh the the white foamy stuff i think that's this the compressed air that's what i think it is um so a person it doesn't tell you immediately but a person is going to stand at this workstation the air tank refill station and then they're going to refill the air tanks and then they're going to store them in the air tank storage so i think that's all we need to do at the moment so we'll go ahead and press play and see how our people are going to get on. The stations are going to build themselves. And then our people are going to start working. So this this guy is working now uh, at the air tank refill station. And soon we're going to uh, get some inventory in here. Um, let's see. Manpapper asks, can we choose if we start with police, firefighter, or ambulance? I don't know. Um, it seems to have several set scenarios, and I've only ever played this first one a little bit on my own. So in other scenarios, you might be able to start with other services. But we are going to get... <laughs> we are going to get... <laughs> Lone goldfish. <laughs> God. Uh, yes, I do say silly things sometimes. Um, anyway, but um, in this, I know that we do progress to uh, police in this scenario and maybe even the medical as well. So anyway, um, look at that. A fire department. Now I can start to uh, forward fires. Obviously, keep growing your department. You'll even be able to handle kittens and trees. Yay. We will definitely need more manpower for it to thrive, though. We need to recruit more firefighters. Okay. New hires are usually rookies. They're nearly useless in the field unless they have really so strong superstition or supervision. <clears throat> okay. Newly hired rookies are basically useless in emergencies with their muscle mass of a yogurt. They can get stronger in a basic training area, usually. This guy, he's interesting. Uh, anyway, I wish the music would come back. Um, anyway, we have water hauling training. This is in the training room, which I'm going to build a training room here, I think. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's build a training room. And you can see we have new stuff. So we can unlock the fire station. Uh, unlock, this is a called a water hauling training. And we unlock it by completing the fire station expansion. Now we have zero influence or zero reputation. Normally this might cost something, but some of them are unlocked by the campaign here. So let's just build a training room out here. Let's build it like, I don't know, that big sure and i'm going to build the corridor to come around this side 
Oh, oh my god, we have an emergency. We have an emergency. This does not sound good. All right. Let's just finish... <laughs> Should we finish? We're going to finish building this. Stop interrupting me with your emergencies. That's not cool. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's build ourselves a door here. I'm going to magically place it where I know it needs to be. Okay. And we're going to get the water hauling training here. Am I sure I'm not playing dungeon keeper? <laughs> you never can tell. Anyway, let's build a couple of these stations. These are <clears throat> interesting. Um, we'll see how they work in just a second. Uh, whoopsies. Can I rotate this? There, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, we'll build a couple of these. So at least we'll get all of our firefighters up to level one. We can check out who they are here. Uh, oh, looks like all of them are firefighters, uh, full-fledged firefighters. If they are rookies, they have a little, um, it's like a graduation cap looking thing. So <laughs> yeah, your fires can wait. I'm building stuff. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyway, so, um, there we go. We have our emergency. We have the garage as well. <laughs> we can unlock, uh, the next trucks. So this truck, uh, if we pay attention to the icons, we can see that this truck has a letter. This one has a water thingy. They're called very annoying names. TLF 3000 fire vehicle. Uh-huh. Basic water equipped tank or water tank equipped vehicle. And then we can unlock this one, which is the ladder truck. Uh, and then let us um, get the garage expanded so that we can build these things. So we can unpack the boxes from Amazon. <laughs> we definitely need a ladder truck and possibly. Uh, oh, no. Wait. Oh, dear. Which one did I just build? Okay. It has the little water jet thing. That is that one. We need the, the, the other one. Hello. Okay, here we go. And this is the ladder truck. Shove that one over there. That's good. Uh, yeah. Pause the flow of time when you're busy. Exactly. So they're going to unpack these trucks soon. <laughs> this, this actually makes me, um, yeah, quite, quite delighted. Anyway. Okay. So we have an, <laughs> an emergency happening. <clears throat> oh, and more push pin things. All the things. Okay. Top part, you can see the resource requirements. That's this bit here. We'll talk about those. Bottom half allows you to assign people and slots and things and stuff. Okay, Mayor says, here you respond to emergencies that make the tough decisions that determine the safety of the city. The best part, this is also how you earn money. Yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> call the neighborhood firefighters, yes. <laughs> Choose carefully which vehicles, crew, and equipment to send out as they will be unavailable until this emergency is resolved. Okay, thank you. So we have uh, the description. A local business is reporting smoke coming out. Okay. Um, we have crew, we have vehicles, and we have equipment. Now, notice there are things, modifiers on the crew here. And we have, you can see, this is a seasoned firefighter. They have two skill, plus two firefighting. And they also have a specialty, uh, industrial fire specialist. Uh, so plus one firefighting skill on industrial type emergencies. Those affect the dispatch percent, which we'll look at in just a second. Um, let's see. Juliana Moten is a level one firefighter. And you can see the one on the hat here. This one has a two. Um, and then we have our vehicles. This is our basic firefighter vehicle. So this is not great. You know, we have just, oh, it does have a water tank with it, I guess. Okay, that's nice. I didn't notice that before. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then, of course, we have our air tanks, which are those things that we're filling up inside the uh, the base, <laughs> base, quote unquote base, our uh Rescue HQ, mm -hmm. a season with Q and a tarragon, oh dear. <laughs> anyway, so so here are requirements. This is going to help us get the best uh, stuff going. And already I see that it's like, oh my God, what are we going to be able to do here? We need four air tanks. We only have two, so we'll just put those two in. That's all we can do. We get 20% on the dispatch score. And also notice that this amount, the reputation reward for dispatching, uh, goes up. Whenever we add uh, requirements to stuff, we need five firefighters. Wow. And we need one water tank. We're going to choose our vehicle. And immediately that's going to give us the water tank here, which is great. We get 30% on the dispatch. Uh, and then we're going to choose firefighters. I mean, you can do this in any order. I'm just trying to do this in a reasonable way here. So notice that when we choose Raymond, it's It'll because be he has level two in firefighting. Oh, thank you so very much, Tome Eclipse. 
Uh, show love 500. I hope you're doing well today, KOS. Thank you so very much. Thank you for the 500 bits. I really appreciate that. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Um, okay, so we have our vehicles which can hold, I think this means it can hold nine people over here, which is a lot of people. Um, but anyway, we, we chose Raymond, got us two on our firefighting score, already 50% on the dispatch. Let's add more people, 60%, 70%, and 80%. We're choosing literally everyone we can. We have five out of five score, but we're missing two air tanks. So that's going to affect our dispatch. So hopefully we can get this fire out. I'm not sure if we can or not, but we'll see. We get 48 out of 60 rep for dispatching, but this is literally the best we can do. So let's send them off. There we go. All right, so they're going to go off. Now we need to unpause the game. They're going to go to their lockers, I believe, and pick up their stuff. They're like, hey, got to get my hat. And there we're going. And we can go into the, the vehicle and leave then. Okay. There they go. Okay, they're off. Hey, Findale. Yes, I just got affiliate right after the last stream. Thank you very much. Yep, it's it's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm kind of thrilled about it. Yay. <laughs> it's nice. Okay. Greetings so, and welcome to the sky, people. And thank you, Findale, very much for the subscription. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we have crew needs here. Um, yo, okay, we have we have more stuff to do. It is telling us all the things. Hey, awkward. How are you doing? Um, all right. We have another pushpin. Unattended needs may cause crew to leave work. We don't want them to do this because we're relying on them to help us with stuff. We've got food rests and hygiene. Other status may cause crew to be ineffective in dispatch or production, i.e. injury or exhaustion. Okay. So allowing your crew to go home on shift changes re uh, resets those afflictions. I like how they call it afflictions. <laughs> Thanks, Beatura. And thank you, Stoney. Um, of course, I notice. I, 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 I very much pay attention to chat. I love I well, that's part of the reason I stream is because I love talking to everyone and hanging out with with you. And it's fun. OK, so we got this. Thank you. And mayor says a crew member just left the HQ during their shift. Oh, no, they will keep doing that if you do not provide enough food, kitchen, rest, bedroom and hygiene, bathroom facility. Imagine that. Hmm. No bathrooms. Jeez. Other times, though, crew members may become injured or exhausted uh, from emergencies or overtime. This is only treated once they go home after their shifts. OK, so all right, let's pause the game again. Um, OK, now you can train your uh, we already did the emergencies, did we? Anyway, now your rookies can train for emergencies. Check the applicants tab in the crew menu. Some rookies are willing to join our little cult. Ha <laughs> ha, our cult. So much fun. Uh huh. Uh, assimilating fresh souls. I mean, finding applicants requires manning recruitment desks. Um, some may also join after completing objectives. Keep in mind, every crew member needs a locker. Okay, so that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, two, and we have a resting crisis. This is a very inconvenient. All right, let's keep expanding the common area. By us, I mean you. Set up a bathroom and a small kitchen where people can eat in peace and go to the toilet. Well, respectively. Uh -huh. Anyway, if they don't have anything to eat, they'll just go out, right? Right when you need them. I know, labor laws, right? <laughs> yeah, nice guy. Nice guy. Mm hmm. The sky cult. <laughs> God. Anyway, um, so we have these people. I just want to show the animation on the. These are people training uh, to to get to the next level of stuff. So they're just doing fun stuff. Oh God, they're leaving. No. Okay, three resting crisis. This is bad. All right. Before we watch any more animations that might be cute or not cute, <clears throat> let's build stuff. Um, we want to build a bathroom. We want to build a uh, refrigerator and stuff. Kitchen. All right, let's do that then. Go to our build menu again and <laughs> proud member of the sky cult. <laughs> Help Terrahawk. You think the mayor has tentacles? He's acting very possessed. <laughs> oh my God. Um, all right, so I want to build, oh, where do I want to put these things? I think we can put, I'm just trying to like figure out. So initially we just have access we're paused still. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we just have access to this dark square. So we have to fit everything in here initially until we can afford to spend 45000 to buy this adjacent lot. And then this one is 13000 but only after the Mafia boss trial event. 
Um, now, the thing with this is, uh, the, the question I have in my mind, and I haven't played this far in my uh, explorations last night, is this is how much money we have, uh, but this is how much we owe at the end of the week. So I don't know if we, I think we actually have to cover that amount by the end of the week. So it's kind of strange. We're right now on zero days, 1130 in the morning. So I, I kind of want to keep this budget under control. I don't know if we can afford this yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we are going to get money from each of the emergencies that comes back uh, successful. Uh, well, that sounds really strange. Are we, are we pillaging and looting? I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyway, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our bathroom out here, maybe uh, alongside this corridor. I'm thinking, yeah, that should be wide enough, perhaps. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. It could be, yeah, let's make it four wide, like that. And I'm not sure if we should have the corridor going this way or not. I don't know. It's okay. Let's make the corridor out here. We'll probably expand this, but I don't want to spend too much money. I know it looks weird. I'm sorry about that. Um, but we'll just we'll just pretend it's the smells that it's like, okay, put it way at the end of the corridor. It will be fine. Uh, right. So we have door here. Now, each of these cubicles is one tile uh, wide. And of course, there's the whole footprint thing, which you can see there. Uh... Do I prefer city builders or production chain sims? Yes, I do. Uh-huh. That's the answer to that question. <laughs> I love so many games. I love all the games. Well, not all the games. I know I'm not big on, on first person shooters, but I like all the other games. I like city builders and production chains and combining them together. And I like uh, platformers occasionally. I like all kinds of interesting stuff. Uh, anyway, so let's go and build, let's build a couple shower cubicles. Let's build a couple of uh, toilets. Wait, did, I didn't click on that properly. Rotate these guys this way. Two of those cubicles there. We'll leave room for some extra bits. And then on this side, we can build a couple of sinks so that people can wash their hands after their business is done. Okay, good, good, good. That will be fine. We'll unpack those from Amazon. <laughs> it will be good. <laughs> uh... Oh, I like that idea, Pterok. They need to, we need to be able to build a second floor so they can slide down the fire pole. Yes, of course. I don't know. Maybe there is a second floor in the game. I have no idea. There might be. Um, but this is the beginning scenario. So this is like teaching us kind of how to play the game all together. All right. So we have a toilet shower thing. Those things, remember, they take time to build on the progress bar. So we need to build a kitchen. Um, thinking maybe here. Uh, because I happen to know we're going to need this space and we're going to need this space. So kitchen over here sounds fine. Let's build a small kitchen for now. Like that big? Sure. Okay, we'll rotate this door. We'll put it... Oops, I keep pressing R to rotate, but it's not. It's actually Q and E. <laughs> hey, Shadella, thanks so much for the offer. I am terrible at Cuphead, but I love the game. It's so beautiful. I, that, that game with the graphics is just great. Um, all right, so let's build ourselves a fridge. We'll have the kitchen making food, making stuff on this wall, I think. And then we'll have, right now, these poor people, they just get to sit. So we'll just sit them here. Uh, and then maybe we'll get a table later. I don't know, but chairs are, um, let's see, it says reduces exhaustion, increases relaxation. So that's good. Uh, all right. And then we need a bedroom, which is here. Let's build a bedroom and let's just add it. We need five across at the minimum. So we're going to shove that here and we're going to build our door. I know these dimensions because I played last night if you're uh, just joining the stream. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and build some beds. Uh, rotate these. Now these again, they have the little footsteps. Now I found something interesting yesterday, which highly amused me. Okay, so we have lots of beds. We, we actually need lots of beds, tons of beds. So we're just gonna put them where we have footsteps between. Uh, and there we go with that. Now. When I played last night, this is funny. I wonder if they fixed this yet. Um, but we had a chair. I put chairs in here. And it turns out you can kind of like overlap the footprints. So I put like three chairs in. And I said go. 
So, let's see. Okay, they're all being constructed by the magic elves that construct things and unpack the Amazon boxes. Okay, uh, reputation cap. Uh, ask for help to complete an emergency. Unlock new stations vehicles. Convert it into money at the end of the week. You can also stockpile a limited amount of reputation. That's our 600 here. This cap increases at the end Greetings, of the week. Greetings and welcome to the sky, people. Hello, Aungun. How are you doing? Thank you so very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, thank you. Let's see. Back to the reputation. This cap increases at the end of the week if the cap was hit during the week. Reputation gained beyond the cap is lost. We're going to have to carefully manage this uh, and get that going. Let's see. Your top amount is now lower than your T amount. So we'll see what that means. Yeah. Basically, it means, whoa, we're going to need to earn more money. That's what that means, pretty much. IKEA home delivery could be, could be. Uh, okay. We have multiple things happening now. Um, right so we have one failed emergency it looks like we got some um reputation and remember when we were sending people out for this excursion into the fiery lands unknown um what happened is we had a dispatch reputation uh, which was 48 out of 60 so we got that even though we failed the emergency which is okay all right so there we are we have a resting crisis so anyway later on what what happened with the bedroom was that i wanted to delete some of these chairs because I had to move stuff around. Um, and so I clicked on, is it X? I think it's X. It's this one. No, it's this one. Sell object. And I couldn't, oh, I still can't do it. I still can't. So I sent in the bug report last night, which was really late. So I'm no wonder the devs haven't gotten to respond. So I was like, what the heck do I do about this? So I had these three chairs like hanging around. It's like, how do I build around that? And it was, I thought, oh, geez, we have this lost area. But no, no, no. The devs have given us a spot here, which is clear area. Sell everything in the selected area, including room floors. So I could just do this. It was great. I was like, oh, my goodness. This is great. I know that looks crazy but we can just fill it in with the floors again and put in our uh, beds again. So I thought that was a really nice kind of workaround thing that if there was something funky that you couldn't undo, it's, uh, yeah, pillars. <laughs> you could still put it in there. So anyway, I thought that was a good thing. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.